I'm Martin Bridges. I'm the Director of Marketing and Technical Support at Worcester Bosch Group. Today you'll find us at our training centre at Worcester and behind me you can see the installation of a Green Star iJunior that we've mocked up. We're going to demonstrate to you today the installation of our latest boiler, the Green Star i. So let's have a closer look. The Green Star i Junior has been in production since March 2005, so over 10 years this has been the best selling boiler in the UK. There are 1 in 20 homes with an i Junior installed, and last year 1 in 10 boilers sold in the UK was an i Junior. So to replace it is a pretty tough task. I'm here today with one of our training engineers, Gary Albert, and we're going to go through the replacement of this iJunior with the new Green Star i. So let's just stop there and have a look at the wall mounting jig. So this was the biggest difference really we made when we introduced this boiler. We made this jig the main interface that the installer had with the boiler. So we could pre-plumb all of the pipework connections without the boiler even being on the wall or for that matter even being on site. What you can also see here is the expansion vessel. So this is the old wall mounting frame or jig. Let's have a look at the new version. As you can see, the new wall mounting jig is now on the wall and Worcester have coined a phrase called simple switch to highlight how easy it is to replace an existing iJunior or even a Green Star SI boiler with the new Green Star i. So firstly, the fixing screws are in precisely the same positions as the original jig was. Then the plumbing connections are also in the same position so no repipe work is needed to connect the new jig where the old one went. And finally, the flue hole for a rear flue outlet is also in the same position. So the switch from one new boiler from the old is very simple indeed. Now we've got the boiler on the wall, let's have a look inside and look at some of the improvements we've made over the old model. I think the first noticeable difference is that the expansion vessel is now inside the combustion chamber. You may remember on the previous iJunior, this was located on the wall mounting jig, so if you had to change the expansion vessel, you had to take the boiler off the wall to do so. Let's now take a look at the condensate siphon. And as you can see, it's a large volume condensate siphon. It actually holds about half a litre of condensate. And it's been designed so that you can now run the condensate pipe externally to the building. You can run the pipe for up to three metres in length in 32 millimetre diameter plastic. It doesn't have to be insulated or lagged. And it's been guaranteed that this will not freeze in temperatures of up to minus 15 C for a sustained period of 48 hours. Moving across from the condensate pipe, you can now see the new low energy circulating pump installed within the boiler. This is to comply with the new ERP directive which comes in on the 26th of September 2015. It's actually the 1st of August 2015 for circulating pumps within boilers. But this is a new requirement, a European-wide regulation. This circulating pump complies with that. It's fully modulating, so the speed will go up and down according to the system requirements. So moving from the pump, we go up to the fan, and you can probably identify that the fan is in a different position and rotation to where the previous boiler was. We can now remove the fan from a service perspective without disturbing or breaking the all-important heat exchanger seal because when we did that, we'd have to replace the seal. The other noticeable difference between this and the previous model is the display. So we've now taken away the two rotary control knobs and replaced that with a digital text display. Looking a bit more closely at the display, 
you can now see that the temperature for both central heating and hot water is through these up down type buttons very similar to what you get perhaps on a TV remote control also on the display we have an eco button an info display button and a reset button in the event of a burner lockout or for whatever other reason we may need to reset the boiler okay so we've looked at the uh, plumbing and pipework connections let's have a look at the electrics and here you'll be pleasantly surprised and pleased that we've made quite a few nice changes you can see one or two green coloured connection things here uh, one of which is the spare fuse and another green connection block here which is the uh, co-plug lifting this flap here will reveal the edge of the PCB and within a bag we have two connection blocks an orange and a green block uh, the orange block is for connection of EMS bus enabled controls such as the wave controller so you can wire the two wires from the wave to the plug and simply push that onto the relevant part of the PCB. This boiler is no exception to our previous Green Star system and combi boiler models in that any of our plugging controls can plug onto the fascia and then connect to the PCB. OK, here's the fascia of a virtually finished installed boiler. We have one of our plug-in controllers. Next to it, the text display. Now, the text display can do numerous things, and probably far too many to mention here. The Worcester website will have more information on what it can do and how to achieve those results. One of the main benefits, though, is during commissioning. So the benchmark checklist requires you to populate various fields on certain performance characteristics of the boiler and the text display can help you do that. As we've seen, the front door is now fitted to the boiler and I suppose one of the noticeable features here is, unlike the previous iJunior, which was a one-piece three-sided cabinet. This now comes in three individual pieces. The two side panels are fitted already and the front door is separate to that and fitted after commissioning. So if we fold down the fascia you can just about make out this label here and on there is a data code. So if you've downloaded the guarantee registration app onto your smart device you can scan this code and it'll help you register the boiler online without you having to fill out the registration cards and post it onwards to us. One new requirement uh, put upon installers, merchants and manufacturers alike is the forthcoming ERP directive. And essentially that will require the homeowner to be provided with a label of the efficiency of the system or in some cases just the product that's been installed. So this boiler is ERP ready, it complies with all the ERP directives and here's an example of the label which will accompany this boiler. So that's it, that's a quick overview of the Green Star I boiler. The combi version of this boiler is available in 25 and 30 kilowatt output so that's an improvement from the 24 and 28 of the I Junior. And the system variant which is also available is in 9, 12, 15, 18, 21 and 24 kilowatt outputs. The Green Star I. More hot water, more efficiency, more features, all with a five-year guarantee. For more information, visit the Worcester website.